There he is, right there, guys. Feels like a pretty good one, too. Maybe. Decent fish. Decent little fish. How about that? Yep, I'm gonna show you guys a little, little something. Not the fish, but I'm gonna show you the player in this game. I'll show you this as a, this is a jackhammer. And you guys have heard a lot about this particular bait, but I want you to look the size of that head. Three quarter ounce, okay? Three quarter ounce. Three eighths ounce, the half ounce, a lot of love. A lot of love, that fish loves the three quarter ounce. Stephen Browning, Major League Fishing Pro. And I want to talk to you guys a little bit about, especially you bank fishermen, about how to bring a bait, what we call up the hill. And that's throwing out to the deeper water, bringing it back to the shallow water. The key thing, especially in a bait that can, you can throw and let it sink, count it down and bring it back, it'll stay out there in that little bit deeper water. Today, we're using a three quarter ounce Z-Man jackhammer. And I wanna show you the trailer. It's a little paddle style trailer. The reason I like the paddle style trailer is anytime that I'm slow rolling a bait, spinner bait or the jackhammer itself, I like to use a little paddle tail. It has just a very, very subtle action to it. And I think that really helps when you're slow rolling. This is a Z-Man uh, diesel minnows, little four inch. We got the big head. Let's throw it out here one, one more time. Let's throw it out there deep. I'm gonna count it down to about, I'm gonna say about eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, and then I'm just, I just wanna just, I mean, creep it, creep it. Now, I actually have a pretty high speed reel. This is a Lose Tournament Pro. It is a, uh, golly, eight, eight, three to one. But this is the reason that you need that eight, three to one. Boy, I mean, that one smacked it. Looky there. Oh, y'all say another good little chunk. What I found was, a sh you know, some shad, and I saw the bass up underneath them with my forward facing sonar. And in my mind, I've got to get a bait underneath them. Got to get it underneath the bait fish and bring it back up underneath them. Boy, I mean, that one just smacked it. I was trying to talk about my, my tournament pro. Eight, three to one. You don't really think about, you know, a high speed reel with a moving bait. A lot of people talk about a high speed reel with, with dragon baits, like a, a jig or a worm or something like that but I can actually make long casts with this reel. Say for instance, I make a long cast while that bait's falling. If that fish hits, the reel will allow me to take up a lot of slack real quick. My rod will allow me to get a good hook set. This is the new Legend Tournament Bass Rod. This is a 7.3 heavy, moderate fast. That moderate action on this, on this particular rod allows me to have enough backbone, yet have enough tip as well. I can catch one on the end of the cast as well as I can catch one right up here next to the boat. My power poles, they're in the, in the bottom and I'm throwing out here. We got 15, 18 feet of water out here. All right, we're gonna make that cast out. I'm gonna count it down. 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,005, 1,006, 1,007, 1008 and then I'm going to engage and just bringing it right back up the hill. I'm throwing this bait out. It's probably, I'm going to give it probably 12 to 15 feet out there. So my bait is, I'm trying to keep it out there in about, about 10 feet of water and just, just rolling it right up underneath that big ball of bait that, that we had on our graph just a second ago. and just creeping it. You don't want to you don't want to overpower the bait. You start you start winding this bait too fast, the bait's going to tend to rise up. You just want to you want to try to keep it at a constant level where it's coming in the strike zone and then when it gets up shallower we'll bring it on up. That's the deal. Make us another one out there. 
And again, just, just counting it down. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And just slow roll it. This is one of those few times, one of those few times that I don't, I don't really put a lot of action in the bait with my rod. I, sometimes I'll do what I call just goose it. And just a quarter, you just watch it slow and just goose it. Like a little old quarter of a turn, a lot of times will make all the difference. How about that? How about that? Just another solid, solid chunk. And I mean, look how they're eating this bait. I mean, they are getting it. So that's, that tells me that I know that that bait is in the right, right water column, right depth within the water column. I mean, they're getting it good. Just trying to get it right up underneath the shad, but I don't want to get it too high or too low that the fish, I'm not bringing it back through the, the strike zone, so to speak. Big baits, you have to utilize three quarter, one ounce uh, style baits. Again, this bait does not get near the love that it should, but I can promise you, it's a player, especially in my book. Now this is a medium wire hook, and I'm gonna show you guys something. I'm just gonna put a little pressure on that hook. You can see that hook flexing, okay? If you use too heavy action of a rod, what's gonna end up happening is when that fish grabs that bait, that hook point, it's gonna, it's gonna flex out. So you're dragging that hook point across that fish's mouth, not penetrating. Here, a lot of people talk about, man, I had a lot of bites hooked him for just a second. Well, probably what's happening is this. You got too heavy action to rot. You're not allowing that, 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 that hook to get penetrated in that, in that fish's mouth and, and then past the barb. You're actually cutting that fish and just barely skin hooking it. And that's what happens uh, when you lose some. Rod selection is very, very important in every technique that you're using. And I'm just, I'm, I just want to follow that bait with the rod tip. Three. And then we're going to engage it and just make all the difference. Just bringing it up the hill. Very at a very, very slow pace. I mean, just crawling it. There he is. There he is. Good fish. Good fish. Woo! He got it choked too. Wow. I mean, oh, holy. I mean, can't eat it any better than that right there. But that's what I was talking about, and I'll show you guys real quick about about now that that bait was down in that fish's mouth, but. If that bait's coming into that fish's mouth, it's got to rotate up, okay? It's got to rotate up for that hook point to penetrate. A lot of times, if you use too heavy of an action rod, that hook's gonna just, it's just gonna scrape it. You'll end up hooking him out in here, then if he shakes, he'll get off. Right action of the rod, match that rod, that technique with that bait, good healthy little two and a half pounder, let that dude go. That, my friends, is what you call bringing your bait up the hill.